Shalom. I want to begin this lesson by giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Kodash. Double honors to the to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone at Ruel. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole full elect scattered abroad. And the Heavenly Father's correct name is Yahweh, meaning He is, He exists. And His Son's name is Yahweh Shah, meaning He. He saves, he delivers, Bahashem in the name, and Rechak Wadash in the Holy Spirit. I'm the brother you want on, coming from the Great Millstone West Palm, Great Millstone Salt, back here with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basmal Shah. And I pray that this lesson is edifying, all right? And, you know, yesterday, you know, I made a lesson, you know, going into the um, MOTB, right? And, um, you know, basically going into that, Hey, when that time comes, man, when that hour of temp when that hour of temptation, you know, it, 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 you know, when that hour of temptation comes, you know, to this place, you're going to have to be already in that mindset, man. The scriptures speak about us being pilgrims upon the earth. And the reason we're gonna be pilgrims upon the earth is because we're not gonna be able to um we're not gonna be able to we're not gonna be able to um be able to maintain or live in this society all right if you don't you know take that you know that motb right so you're not gonna be able to just switch it on like a light switch and then in those times man even though you know you you can't put your how about your mouth shot in a box man you know if the heavenly father is dealing with you hey you know ain't nothing possible ain't nothing impossible with your how about your mouth shot hey but of but for our people, you know, that aren't preparing themselves, preparing themselves, or building up themselves in these times, it ain't it ain't gonna be as easy as you think it is. And the first precept I want to begin is Jeremiah chapter fifty-one, verse forty-five, and it reads, "My people, and who is the heavenly Father's people? Speaking about you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, and you Israelite foreigners that have been scattered amongst the nations, man. Okay, and it says." Go ye out of the midst of her, and and, and that her is speaking about uh, Babylon the Great, America, right? And it says, and deliver ye every man from his soul from the fierce anger of the Lord, right? So, hey, the point is, you have to like the scripture says. It says, go ye out of the midst of her, man, and that's speaking about mentally, man. You have to mentally get out of the the state of America, man. Okay, because, you know, everybody, you may know that the MOTB is, you know, uh, you, you may know what it is, but in that time, how are you going to be able, all right, to be stable, right? Hey, it says wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of our times, man, meaning that you have to uh, mentally depart from this place, like Micah chapter 2, uh, verse 10 says, we're going to get that next. All right, you have to mentally depart from this place, and you have mentally and physically, man. You got to mentally depart from this place, and you got to be occupied upon these these scriptures, man. The words of Yahweh by Shah. All right, because it's not going to be as easy as people think, man. People think that in that time you're going to be able to just you know switch it like a a light switch, and that's not going to be the case, man. And that's why you know you you know you're supposed to be building yourself up now, man. Yeah, how Basham Al Shah has said his men, his prophets, his servants are to give forth that warning, to give forth that warning that destruction is coming, to give forth that warning about the MOTB because hey, our apostles and elders here at Great Millstone have been teaching this, man, many years ago before you know the thought of this thing, you know, before this thing was you know was clear our teachers you know our, our apostles and elders have been teaching about this man all right so in that time hey brothers have been building themselves you know you know during that man okay and hey, the reason why i'm making this lesson is because a hey, many people think in that time it's gonna be that easy man you know it's not gonna be as easy as you think man imagine you know for say you're 20 25 30 you know 35 40 man that's Many years you've been, you know, trusting in in, in in a man's systems, man. All right, you get your food from the store, you get your water from the store, you get your car from, you know, the car dealership, you get your clothes here. All right, you get your medicine here. So in that time, hey, if you're not 
uh, mentally and spiritually in tune with Yahweh Bashem Al Shah, and you're going to confine to that image, man. You're gonna, and you're gonna confine to that mark because how they're going to um, advertise and the propaganda is gonna be, you know, hey, this is supposed to, you know, make life better. All right, this is supposed to advance society, and that's why it's called the NWO, the New World Order. It's supposed to, you know, you know, Esau is playing the, you know, trying to play the, the role of the Most High, so he's trying to advance, all right, this place, and that's what that NWO is ultimately going into, man. So if you're not spiritually in tune, man, you're gonna confine to that image, man. And we pray you how about my shot keeps the spirit on us that we don't confine to that image. But that's why you gotta build yourself up now, man. And I may, you know, I may be a broken record saying that over and over again, but it's very important, man, because in them times, man, Esau Edom is gonna do everything, man. He's gonna do everything to make sure that everybody is is, is rice grained up, man. All right. And that's why it's called the hour of temptation, because every man is going to be tempted, man. Every man is going to be tempted, you know, in, in order to take that mark, man. But you have about says hey, he's going to hey, he's going to give his men the crown of life, man, if they don't take it, man. Hey, before, you know, for those that are listening, hey, prepare yourself now, like it says in uh, Second Ezra, the 16th chapter, man. All right. Because a hey, the men of the Lord, a hey, the believers, the few sisters, you know. It's gonna be a battle, man. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be true testing time when them times come, man. Because hey, you may see your mother, you may see your brother, hey, you may see your father, you may see your kids. Esau, hey, they may be put to death in them times, man. Esau Edom is going to do everything he can, man. All right, hey, Yahweh Bashem Al Shai called, hey, gave him the sword. That's his blessing. All right, hey, and, and Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, remember, it's gonna be the times. Hey, Jacob's trouble, man. Yeah, Bashim Al Shah is gonna hey, give that power to Esau, man. All right, you know, for you two third Jakes that have been rebellious, the Heavenly Father is gonna hey, give that power to Esau to tread amongst you people, man. Okay? So in them times, Esau Edom is gonna do everything he can to make sure that everybody takes this mark, man. All right, ration and food, food shortages. All right, you know, you may not eat in a couple days. So Esau Edom, you may not drink, man. You may not have taken a shower in a couple of days. And that's what we're trying to inform you, man, that, you know, your whole life, your whole life, you've been, you know, catered, you know, you've been pampered, right? You know, you clean water, so-called clean water, food, um, you know, all these uh, conveniences are, are going to be cut off, man. You know, if you're hungry, you can just go up the street. You can go to uh, Walmart. You can go to Publix. You can go to McDonald's. You can go to Burger King, Wendy's, and the list goes on, man. This place has been brought upon. Um, this place has been um, built on convenience, man. The convenience to, to get a drink, man. The convenience to get some food, man. So that's why we're, you know, a... Um, like it says in the verse, I'm reading it again, Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 45. My people, go ye out of the midst of her and deliver ye every man his soul from the fierce anger of the Lord, man. So go ye out of the midst of her, man. And that means spiritually. That means mentally, man. Because us brothers, man, we, we hey, you know, Lord willing, we've been building ourselves up for them times, man. All right, <laughs> you know, I believe I believe a brother was speaking about this not too long ago. Hey, brothers, in the state of, hey, you doing me a favor if you you know you taking me out, man? Because brothers have committed themselves to your how about your mouth shop, man? I even tells you in uh, Matthew the sixteenth chapter. Let me go ahead and get that right quick. Matthew the Uh, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 16, um, verse 25, and it reads, for, whoso, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. That's right, man. So a lot of people are going to be trying to save their life in them times, man. A lot of people are going to, you know, because of that fear, right? You how Shah said, hey, fear, fear not him which killed the body, but fear him which could, you know, let me grab that next, man. I think that's Matthew chapter 10, verse 38, if I'm not mistaken. 20, 
28, forgive me. Matthew chapter 10, verse 28, and it says, Fear not them which kill the body, but not but are not able to kill the soul, but, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. That's right. So your fear of Yahweh Bashem al got to be much higher than the fear of Esau, man. Even tells do not believe the book of Isaiah, you know, why fear is a man that, that that can die, roughly paraphrasing that. That's speaking about Esau, man. Why I fear a man that can die? Because hey, the power is all in the heavenly father, man. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, man. All right. So hey, and this is what this message is going into, man. Esau Edom's whole role, you know, his whole plan is to get everybody chipped, man. So if you're if you haven't been building yourself up in these times, man, if you have not been uh meditating on these things, man, meditating upon, you know, living off the grid, man. And them times when a hey, all hell breaks loose, you know, especially those that have children, right? Those that have children, those that have a woman, if you have not been mentally thinking upon a hey, when that time's come, if my woman not on it, to hell with my woman. If my kids is not on the same accord to hell with my kids, man. And that's how serious it's gonna get, man. That's how serious it's gonna get, man. Esau Edom is gonna Stop at nothing, man. All right, even tells you that. Uh, Revelation 12 and 12, man, you shall come down with that great wrath, man. All right, uh, Revelation chapter 12, verse 12, and it reads, uh, Revelation chapter 12, verse 12, therefore. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them speaking about you know speaking about us brothers start foremost you know with the elect Lord wouldn't we be a part of that number and it says woe to the inhabitants of the earth and to the sea for the devil right and the word devil is going to a deceiver right that word Satan is going to adversary and that's speaking about the so-called white man and it says for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he had but a short time. Why does he, and, and you know, Salakia, I really should have started at that 10th verse. And that's what I'm gonna do, forgive me. Revelation chapter 12, verse 10. And it says, I heard a loud, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his anointed for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. That's talking about Esau Edom. So Esau Edom knows that he has but a short time, man, because one of the last major prophecies before the returning of our Lord, Yahweh Shah, is uh, Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, man. All right, the MOTB, that rice grain, that's going to be mandatory, you know, mandatory. Hey, upon this um upon this place, man. All right. So again, Esau Edom is gonna come down with that great rap. Even tells you in for uh, Isaiah, um, what is that Isaiah? Um, what is that Isaiah? They say the enemy shall come in like a flood, man. So Esau Edom is gonna try to do everything in his power, man. All right, to you know to you know to to try to make everybody conform to that image, man. All right. So, again, that's why you have to build yourself up now, man. You have to build yourself up now. Because, again, in them times, you're not going to be able to just switch it like a like a light switch, man. It's, it, it doesn't work like that. Okay? And let me get the book of Micah. All right? We also, you know, we bring this out time and time. This is the book of Micah. This is the book of Micah, chapter 2, verse 10. And it reads, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. So when it, when it says arise ye and depart, it's speaking about mentally, man. It's speaking about spiritually. Arise ye, depart from this place, man. Come, come ye out of her, man. All right? And that's mentally of America, man, because, hey, I, everybody sees it, man. Habakkuk 2 and 3, Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, man. All right? At the end, it shall speak and not lie. And we at the end. Whether these people believe it or not, man, we at the end. Right? Because, hey, we're seeing, they, we're seeing they're promoting that chip, man. That rice grain, right? All right? And, hey, one of the brothers, you know, shared it in the chat. All right? Most of these places are running out of money, man. They're running out of them Federal Reserve 
them Federal Reserve notes, man, them paper notes, man. Meaning what? A digital currency is coming soon, man. Hey, this is reality, man. <laughs> All right. You know them same people that you call bum, same people that you call conspiracy theorists, man. Hey, you know, hey, it's not all words. These are the words of your how about your mouth shot, like it says, man. My words. These ain't all words, man. But these words are coming, you know, these words are coming to pass, like it says in Isaiah the 55th chapter, man. That it shall accomplish therein where I sent it, man. Okay. You know, so hey, this ain't a game, man. All right. That's why it, it tells you to make no turn to turn to the Lord, man. Okay. Seek the Lord while he still may be found. Right. Because hey, those sincere listeners, hey, the sincere listeners have been building themselves up for these times, man. Hey, us brothers, man. We've been building up ourselves for these times, Lord willing, man. All right. It says, hey, they, they, they love their life. Uh, What's that? What's that? They, they love their life. They didn't love their life till death, man. Lord, you know, that's in the mindset we in, man. We're ready for the kingdom. We're ready for the kingdom of Yahweh Shemal Shah, man. All right, we're doing what we have to do. Yahweh Shemal Shah told his, his his servants, his men, to go go out and pro, uh, preach this word, man. All right, to prophesy against Babylon the Great, man. To prophesy against Edom, man. To prophesy uh, 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 the downfall of this place, all right, and to preach the kingdom of our Lord Yahweh Shad, man, okay, and um, Isaiah the 55th chapter, quick precept, select you from all over the place, Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11, and it reads, So shall my word be. That goeth forth out of my mouth. Again, these are not our words. A hey, word, um, how do you say it? You know, word, I ain't going to say, it's like, I'm going to just keep reading. Forgive me. Uh, Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11. So shall my word, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Okay, so all the all the prophecies have to come to pass, man. And um, the MOTB is a prophecy which has not come to pass yet, but we're seeing it. We're seeing it begin to, you know, to be to to manifest, man. Okay, and uh, I think it's one more precept. Forgive me, Jake. I want to bring out, and then I'm gonna wrap up this lesson, Lord willing. You know, the water I bought my shop putting the spirit on me to make this lesson. All right, this is uh second Ezra chapter 16, verse 40, and it reads, Oh my people, hear my word, make ye ready to the battle, and then those evils be as pilgrims upon the earth, man. All right, so hey, we in the battle, just like how it says in uh, in the book of each uh, in the book of Ephesians, you know, this is spiritual warfare, man. All right. But it says, make you ready for the battle, man. And how do you make you ready, man? Applying these scriptures, man. Being attentive to this word, man. All right, departing from this place, man. All right? Because, hey, if you if you love your kids more than your about Shemal Shah, hey, the Lord going to put you in that position, man. All right, if you love your woman, then you love the Lord. The Lord going to put you in that position, man. If you love your business, your money, whatever materialistic item, if you put in that or if you love that more than the Lord, the Lord going to put you in that position to choose, man. Okay? And you don't want to be in that position, man. All right? And um, I have one more in the book of Matthews. I'm trying to see if the Lord, you know, put it on my spirit. All right? But it said, hey, we shall be even as pilgrims upon the earth, man. And this is coming. This is coming, man. We're going to be upon pilgrims, man. So, you know, again, you know, prepare your mind for these times, man. Uh, oh, yeah, I have one more. Uh, going back into, you know, you know your fa your quote-unquote family. Because, hey, your true, fam your true family is supposed to be the brotherhood, right? Matthew the 12th, the 12th chapter speaks about that, man. For who are my brethren? Those that do the will of your house. Do, do, those that do the will of my father, which is in heaven. Matthew chapter 19, all right, verse 27. And it says, Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. 
what shall we have therefore? Right. You know, we have forsaken all, man. All right. And hey, to forsake all for Yahweh Bashim al-Shah, meaning, you know, you don't care about this place, man. You don't care what this place can do for you, man. Because Yahweh Bashim al-Shah, you know, I'm going to go into it. Forgive me. And Yahweh, and Yahweh Shah said unto them, Verily I say unto you that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel, and everyone that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life, man. Hey, and this is a promise, man. All right, it's written in red. These are the words of Yahweh Shah, our Lord, man. All right, so this is what you got to think about, man. Even the book of Revelations, you know, I'm going to get it. Okay. Revelation chapter 3. Revelation chapter 3, verse 10. And it reads, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. That's right, man. Keeping the words of Yahweh Basham al Shah, right? He says that he will also keep thee in the hour of temptation, man. And that's what we want Yahweh Basham al Shah to do, man. Hey, to, to watch over us, to protect us, put the spirit on us, hey, to be bold in that day, man. And it says, um, I'm reading again, Revelation 3, verse 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So, hey, this is going to be a test for everybody, man. All right, this is going to be a test for everybody. Like it says, both small and great, man. All right, so again, if you have not been mentally preparing yourself for them times, man, hey, that day is going to overtake you, man. All right, and we pray that it doesn't for us, brothers, man. Lord willing, we be a part of that number. Verse 11, it says, Behold, I come quickly. Hold thy hold that fast which thou hast that no man take thy crown man no man no woman no child nothing man take our crowns man you see so hey build yourself for these times to come because hey this is very real man this is reality man all right brothers going into it many stores not having cash all right we're seeing where this man is going with his nw old man so this is reality man you know like the elder elder apostle gabar was going into in this lesson man you got to be fully persuaded man you got to be fully persuaded that this is the truth man because hey this is going to be this is going to be very real man it's very real now but this prophecy is going to be reality soon man so it's you know i pray this lesson was edifying so next time i want to give all praise glory and honor to yahweh bahashem yahweh shah bahashem racha kudash double honor to the apostles and elders of great blessing every well Peace, blessings, and salutations to those who let's gather the broad till next time. Shalom, Ababa, Kwame Ashala, DTA.